So you messed up, you did the deed again, you promised yourself this was the last time, you're never gonna do it again, you feel disgusting, you feel tired, you feel unmotivated, and you feel like you're stuck in this loop that's never going to end. How do you stop touching yourself? In this video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips that I've done to help me stop. It's been so long since I've done that. It is one of the best things I've ever done for myself. It gives you so much energy. Just off the bat, that's one of the things. The amount of energy you get, like if you ever get your eight hours of sleep and then you still wake up so tired, it's because you're doing that. But I'm gonna give you guys some of the things that's done for me, some of the benefits, some tips, Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. This video is listenable, so you can pop a headphone in, treat it like a podcast, clean your room, do your homework, do whatever. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. So when you stop doing the deed, the amount of energy, just again, the amount of energy you get is night and day. Like I said, I used to, I, I got my eight hours of sleep every night, but I used to do it before going to bed. And this is TMI. Hopefully no personal friends are watching this, but I would do it like before I go to sleep. And then I would wake up the next day and I would be so freaking tired, like so tired as if I got three hours of sleep and I was figuring out, yo, how do I get better sleep? How do I have more energy throughout the day? And then I forgot to do it one night, woke up the next day and it clicked. I was like, oh, wait, this is it. So ever since then, that's my caffeine, just keeping my you know what, and keeping my nut and keeping everything in because the amount of energy you're going to get is paramount compared to the amount of energy you have if you consistently do the deed. Even throughout the day, you see that your eyes are less baggy, your energy throughout the day is more vibrant, you have more positive outlooks on life. Sorry about the planes, by the way. I live right next to the airport. But yeah, the amount of energy you get is just paramount. Like, definitely start trying right after this video, or if you already did it, start tomorrow. Stop doing it. Just stop doing it. You're going to see the amount of energy you get. The next thing is that this is gonna construe your perception on sex. It's gonna ruin your perception. You're gonna struggle to get it up when it comes to the time and you're gonna look at women completely different. You're gonna have that weird mindset that, you know, and I've had this mindset too. Every every man will have this like kind of like journey, but you're gonna have this mindset that, oh, women ain't shit, women, women are bad, all women are hoes, all women want is this. You're a loser if you're thinking that. Like if you think that you're a complete loser, and you probably interact with the wrong crowd or watch YouTube videos all day on this stuff. Like most of the people that tell me these things don't actually have female friends and they don't actually know what females do. Like it's going to construe your perception on sex if you see this stuff online all the time. If you're consistently feeding yourself with that information, it's going to construe your perception a lot. You're going to start to think that's what the only thing that women want, you're gonna start to have extremely unrealistic standards for women. You're gonna see a fat role and be like, oh, she's not bad no more. You're gonna have a really self-conscious point of view on yourself. You're gonna be like, dang, I don't have this, I don't have that, I don't have these features. And then you're gonna start to lose yourself. You're gonna be less confident in yourself in the ability to perform and it's just all gonna go downhill. So that's like another really major thing that has like affected me the perception. It makes your perception on women completely construed. It's completely bad. You're gonna start to think of women differently and it's it's not in a good way. You're gonna start to think women are demons, or women are bad, when they aren't. It's literally just you watching those stupid red pill content, whatever pill, I don't even know what the color is. Watching those stupid content pieces saying that women only want this and that women shouldn't do this, this or that. And then you also watch the pornograph por pornographic content showing that this this and that is supposed to happen and then when in real life when it doesn't happen you're like oh but this is it's just gonna throw you in a rabbit hole so that's another reason why you should stop doing it especially with the watching because it's going to completely just construct your mind another thing is that people can tell that you beat your meat people can tell trust me i would be in public and i could see a, a, a boy i'll see another boy and i'm like this kid beats his meat a lot. Like you could just tell, bro. Like just based on your energy, your shoulder, your shoulders are hunched over. You don't have social skills. You you look at women, you look away, and you're like, I can't hold eye contact. When a girl talks to you, you start to sweat a bunch. People can tell if you do it excessively, and trust me, it is not attractive. 
I don't know what it is, but the dudes that have a lot of confidence, the dudes that stand up tall and face their fears, you can just tell they, that they don't need to beat their meat. You can tell that they get it whenever they want because they have that energy. They have that aura where it's like, I have things to do. I'm a busy person. I'm valuable. I don't really know like the scientifics behind it or like the, the, the you know the behind the scenes, but you know what I'm talking about. You can just tell when one of your friends beat beat their meat too much. You're like, this guy does nothing else in his house all day. He probably does it two to three times a day, and you're like, yeah, this guy is weird. It's a nasty look. It's very embarrassing, and you don't want to be that guy in the friend group that gets talked about, that gets no girls and beats their meat all the time. You don't want to be that guy. The next thing is the discipline aspect. Let's say you stop this, which is a hard challenge. Men go through it. Every single guy goes through this. The discipline will help you in other areas of your life because once you stop doing this, you're going to start to see how much easier other things are. You're going to be like, wow, I can do other things way easier than I used to before. Oh crap, I could go to the gym a lot more because I have the energy. I have the confidence. It's, it's hard, but I know what hard looks like. I know what hard feels like. So I'm going to go to the gym regardless. Just kind of those things. The discipline in your life is going to be way higher than it was previously. There's this thing in our brain. I forget what it's called, but it's a muscle tissue that you need to train. Once you And, and to train it, it's like you have to do the things that you don't want to do. And it gets easier and easier to do it. The less times you do it, the harder it is to do it. So if you consistently challenge yourself and consistently tell yourself, hey, I've got to, you know, not be my me today. I've got to go to the gym today. I have to record two YouTube videos today. You're going to train that piece in your brain. And next time around, it's just a little bit easier. Two times around a week from now, it's way easier. You're going to be like, okay, cool. This is helping me in all areas of my life. That's the most important part because this is something that you want to carry over into all aspects of your life. So once you discipline yourself in this area, you're naturally going to discipline yourself in multiple areas of your life. So the discipline aspect of not touching yourself is very high. You're actually going to see a lot of gains from that area. So make sure you um, make sure you keep this in mind when it comes to stopping because this is one of my biggest benefits. I was able to hit the gym five to seven times a week. I record every single day. I literally signed up for the Marines. Like that's how much challenge I want now. I've almost become addicted to the feeling of being challenged. And guys, like I said, everybody goes through it. In high school, it was horrible for me. I used to always be low of energy. I used to suck at talking to girls. I used to think it was this scary thing that, oh gosh, I can't do it. This is so scary. When literally, it's just, don't beat your meat, bro. I know it sounds hard, but that's the last tip. Like, just don't do it. You're gonna see so much benefits in your life and it's not gonna, you're not gonna feel them immediately. Maybe the energy thing, you're gonna feel the next day, but everything else, you're not gonna feel it right away. It's all about the delayed gratification. It's all about the slow process of success that you're gonna get from not doing it. And like I said, the discipline areas you're gonna see in all parts of your life, you're gonna have a lot of success there. So. Discipline yourself, work really hard, go for your goals, find your purpose, and remember that there's a lot more to life than just sex. Trust me, there's a lot more to life. That is just 5% of your day, 5% of your month, it doesn't matter. There are celibate people that are thriving, really successful, so make sure you work hard in all areas of your life. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. If you guys enjoyed that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.